<laughs> My husband Mark and I have been homesteading for a bit over three years. We try to grow as much of our own food as possible, and the lack of a root cellar on our farm has been a big problem. Many fruits and vegetables, like carrots, potatoes, and apples, store better in a root cellar than anywhere else. Root cellars help homesteaders like us have fresh fruits and vegetables in the dead of winter, which is the time we're most likely to feel envious of folks who are willing to just buy grocery store veggies from South America. The problem is that building a root cellar takes a lot of time and money. We're living on a homesteading budget and want to see if we could make a root cellar for less than $10 and for just a couple of days' work. Luckily, we had an old fridge that had given up the ghost this summer. Mark decided to put it in the ground and see if we could emulate optimal root cellar conditions, cool temperatures, and high humidity. First, he dug a deep hole up against the side of a hill. You could do this directly into the soil on level ground, but you'd have to dig a lot further to get the same effect. He planned the hole to be a little deeper than necessary so that he could put the fridge up on cinder blocks and have an air pocket at the base. Then he added some deep post holes to bring yet more cool air out of the earth and into our root cellar. Next, Mark removed all of the hardware from the fridge. Older fridges like ours have Freon in their coils, which will harm the ozone layer, though it won't hurt you. Mark wanted to protect the environment, and he also figured we might use some of the hardware in a future project. The fridge had a solid divider between the refrigerator and the freezer section, so he pulled that out and replaced it with a wire rack. After he drilled holes in the bottom and added a vent pipe on the top, cool moist air was able to flow all the way up from the soil enclosed compartment under the fridge, through our produce, and out the pipe. Airflow is as essential as temperature in a good root cellar, since it prevents vegetables from molding and rotting. After lowering the modified fridge into the hole, Mark shoveled dirt over the sides and top for insulation. Later, we'll plant something on top to hold the soil in place. Finally, Mark added latches to the fridge and freezer doors since they tend to drift open otherwise. He added screens over the vent holes so that insects and mice won't find the produce we store inside. We'll be monitoring the temperature inside the fridge root cellar all winter to see if it stays in the optimal root cellar range, above freezing but below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Drop by our blog at www.waldeneffect.org for updates. <laughs>